Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. You know, uh, there is some people they are talking about Surah 4 verse 119 that this Surah is not talking really about Allah, it's talking about Satan. You know, yeah, it's talking about Satan, but Allah is Satan. You know, the reason I'm saying that this is Satan is talking there and this is Allah is talking too because Allah and Satan is one. I will show you why. You know, if this is Satan is talking as Muslims they claim because it's look like when you read it, you know, you will think so. But if you read it in Arabic, it's not the same as in English. Why? In here you will see when they try, they stop in the translation, they put a, a dot and they go in different line. This is not the case in the Quran. This is the verse from here to here. You will never see a dot between two words. And in here, when you continue translation, you will see Woman Woman yattakhidu shaytana waliyan the one who and who and who ever forsake Allah take Satan for a friend has for surely lost now who is the one saying that the Satan or Allah you cannot convince me that this is Satan saying that so if it is Allah saying that how come this continuing talking as one person talking you get the point now I'm not going to argue about this one for long I will show you from different verses that this is for sure what I'm saying is true that Allah is Satan if we go to different verse in the Quran Surah 13 verse 27 Allah truly Allah leaves to stray whom he will he, he, he will and he is the one who will guide he we want so he is the one he deceived you know the word strain here doesn't look good for me by the way but you know this is the Muslim translation it's okay but in Arabic it's very clear what it is it says he will deceive you you can go to dictionary and you can find what the word you mean it's more than a stray only it is you deceiver and by the way this is one of Allah names al mudil I challenge any Muslim to say not true al mudil that is that is the deceiver this is a name of Allah Allah have 99 names one of them is the deceiver al mudil so in here surah 13 verse 27 saying clearly that Allah is the one who will stray and astray people from believing is that the only verse in the Quran saying that no the Quran is full of it surah 16 verse 93 Again Allah he said but he leaves strain whom he want or he please and he guide the one he please too who Allah so Allah the one is the one who he you know he choose who he will guide who but before he choose he will guide who he choose he will deceive who you see it he start with he strain the one he want so first decision is about who he will stray who first decision the, 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 the most important thing for Allah is we will deceive who first oh let me think deceive who deceive who and we remember the story about Jesus Christ who was not crucified in the Quran in Surah 4 you know where where the God of Islam supposedly he put someone look like Jesus on the cross he did deceive he deceived who he, de he was deceiving the Jewish he was deceiving the Roman he was deceiving the followers of Jesus Christ why because everybody thought Jesus Christ was on the cross but it wasn't him this is a deceiving or not when you make someone look like Jesus you clone someone look like Jesus is that a deceiving or this is saying the truth is that a cheating is that a lying? what do you want to call it so because of the deceive if you're God Allah three billion Christian now believe that Jesus was on the cross why because your God Allah according to Quran he put someone look like Jesus in the cross and you want to tell me that's your God Allah is not a Satan what Satan he want more he would love to deceive millions now is that the only verse too saying that that Allah is a deceiver I can show you unlimited verses here we go surah 35 verse number 8 for Allah leaves to stray whom he wills he decide he will you know he, he will he will stray who and always you see the Quran he choose you know deceiving people before anything because Allah is so interesting in deceiving he loved to deceive and as I said the biggest deceiving in the history of the of, of Allah according to the Quran from the mouth of Muslims when he put someone look like Jesus in the cross this is a deceiving when you make me see and I am a human being how I will know this is not Jesus how I will know 
How I will know? I will wait 600 years after and somebody come to me and say, Hey, 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 Jesus was, you know, was not him. Allah was playing games with you. Ho, 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 ho. You know, this is garbage. Allah is a deceiver. Allah is a Satan. Because if this is a true story that Allah, he put someone look like Jesus in the cross, it's very clear evident that Allah is Satan and Satan is Allah. So either you believe in that story, then you are a Muslim, then I'm proving to you that Allah is Satan, or you leave this story, you don't believe in it, and then you will, be, you will leave Islam. And I advise you to leave Islam. Now, is that the only verse saying that Allah, he is the one, he uh, uh, misguide and he deceive people the Quran is full of it let me show you more surah 74 verse number 31 here we go again Allah leave to stray whom he pleases it's up to him he's a drunk God he decide and always you will see him he speak about deceiving first and guiding second you see it deceive he won't he want and he you know he deceive the one he want Now to make it short, to make it short, you know, uh, there's a verse in the Quran that says, if we want to destroy a village, we order the rich people in it to deceive and to, to, to do filthy stuff. Why God is ordering people to do filthy stuff in the village? If we want to destroy a village, we order the rich on that village to do filth in it so we would destroy it so if he want to destroy it he order rich people to do bad things so why why you order the rich people to do bad things if, if he is the one is ordering them what their fault now to make it short and to show you in a very clear evidence that Allah is Satan for sure if we read this surah this verse in here surah 2 verse number 7 Allah had set a seal on their heart and on their hearing and on their eyes is a veil and you know this verse I'm talking about you know Muhammad he stole it from the Bible but it's not like that in the Bible in the Bible it says those people they decide themselves to seal their heart if you go to the Matthew to Matthew 13 13 you will see therefore I speak to them in purples because while seeing they don't see and why hearing they don't hear nor they do understand and you will see and you will see that this privacy in the old testimony when it says in their case privacy of Isaiah is being fully fulfilled which says you will keep on hearing but will not understand you will keep in seeing but you will not receive for the heart of these people has become dull which their ears they you know scarly, scarly hear and they have closed their eyes otherwise they would see with their eyes and hear with their heart so the Bible is saying it, it you know it's the same but in a very different way in the Bible it is him you if you decide to see your heart it's you who decide to see your eyes in the Quran you know it is Allah who sealed their heart which is proven to me clearly that Muhammad who stole this verse from the Bible he make it Allah is the one who sealed the heart because he knew who is Allah Allah is a Satan Allah is a deceiver because you know what guys you know just let us think about it why God want to seal my heart why you know, if I one day I go to, 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 to hell and I stand in the front of the God and the God supposedly is God of justice and he said to me, you know what, you are going to go to hell and I will say, you know what God, you, you are the one who did seal my heart so why you are judging me for something you did can I open my heart when you say you did, you did seal my heart? you will say no, you cannot fight God you cannot change things will happen if God order things to happen is going to happen so in here it's very clear that Allah who sealed the, the, the heart and Allah sealed the hearing and Allah put an eyes in, in their eyes a veil he is Satan 
and Allah for sure is Satan and you can go to Matthew 13 as I said to you and you can go to the Old Testament and you will see that Muhammad he stole those verses from there and he put it in his Quran but because he's a deceiver he have to uh, to claim that uh, uh, Allah is the one who do that to your eyes when the Bible is saying the opposite that's you do you do seal your heart our God don't seal our heart our God don't close our eyes our God don't seal our our mouth our God he want us to, to know he want to guide us he loves us this is why he sent his own loving son to save the world because he loves you not because he want to deceive you in Islam it's totally the opposite and I think now it's very clear that Allah and Satan is one. Amen. Thank you all.